everyone, this is Terry at terryscraftroom.com. Today we're going to make this really cute pinwheel card, pinwheel tower card, I guess it's called. So it folds flat and fits in a normal, one of our normal A2 envelopes. So it's a normal card size. Um, so there you go. And it's a really fun fold. Isn't that fun? It stands up just like that. There's the front and there's the back. And it's actually really a lot easier than you think. So let's get started with this. What you'll need for your pinwheel part is you'll need a card base that is five and a half by four and seven eighths and then you need three pieces that are two and an eighth by five and a half, <coughs> excuse me, five and a half. So there's my three pieces. These, I'm doing the card base here in soft succulent. It's one of our new in colors. Now, we're going to take this bigger piece here, the four and seven eighths by five and a half piece, and we are going to score this at a half an inch at one and a quarter at two and two and three quarters and that's all the scoring we need to do so let's <clears throat> get a bone folder out and we are going to burnish this and one of the keys to this is getting a nice crisp fold on the on this part because this is going to be our center our center part here that everything attaches to so we have a nice crisp fold now what we need to do is we're going to fold it over at the second score line so we have one two we're going to fold it at the second score line and in this half inch section we're going to put adhesive all along that half inch section and don't worry if you missed any of the uh, the measurements I'll have a direct link to to the, my blog post down in the description box and you can go right over there and get all the measurements and score lines and everything so we're going to take the uh, the left side of the where there's no goes right up to this last score line and we're going to just lean it lay it over on top okay and now we have our square isn't that cool okay so Let's make sure it's got a good bond on it. And then we're going to lay it open so that the square is on this on the left and your paper tail, I guess is what I'm going to call it, is on the right. We are going to now put adhesive on this next panel. Okay just like that and I'm going to take one of these two and an eighth by five and a quarter piece or five and a half pieces and I'm going to butt that right up next to the panel that I put adhesive on it okay and then I'm going to lay, move, lay this panel over and when you pick it up you can see that it's right up next to the last piece okay okay I'm gonna do the same thing again now this one's a little trickier because we have the piece on the bottom is gonna start rotating and you don't want to bend it so we're gonna butt this right up against it again and this one you're gonna to have to do in midair because you see how this panel this piece is going to rotate around as you and this is why I, I suggest I'm using wet glue instead of something like a strong tape, tear and tape or something like that because if I don't get it quite right up here I can always have a second to move it. 
Okay, now I have one more piece and one more panel. And this panel will go in just like that last panel because you'll have a panel rotating underneath again. So I'm going to butt this right up next to that panel or that, and then I'm going to lay it over on top of it. So now I have two panels laying to the left and two panels laying to the right. And when I open them, I have my pinwheel tower base. See, isn't that cool? Just that easy. Just that easy. Now, we are going to use the Flowers of Friendship bundle to make our, our, um, to decorate our card. What we need is some, we need some DSP on here. I used the new um, in colors, Evening Evergreen and Polished Pink for my DSP. And so what we need are two of the first color that are five and three eighths by two inches. And then two that are five and three eighths by one and a quarter. Okay. And then of the second color, we need one that's five and three eighths by two. And then two that are the five and three eighths by one and a quarter. And then we need a piece of basic white that is five and three eighths by two and then I have a strip here to go up on the top and the bottom and then for the front I have this piece of uh, basic white that is five and an eighth by one and three quarters and that's going to layer on top of here now just for um, ease of television or ease of video I have done some of my stamping so that we can this video isn't overly long so my back piece here I have stamped life is better with friends like you and that's out of that stamp set and then for my front piece I have stamped with this stamp and you'll notice that this stamp is wider than my piece but that's okay because we're gonna make it work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer one of these on to one of my um, one of my pink pieces okay and I know that this is going to be a green piece so I'm going to put a piece of a piece of my strip on the top and the bottom of this so that I remember that this is my green piece and I'm just gonna cut it off at the right length and then put the piece at the bottom okay so let's bring our our pieces back in I'm gonna this is my front and you just pick a front and pick a back so we have the flowers on the front and then the back is going to be the other side so this is going to be my center back okay and what I like to do is I like to alternate my colors so I want green on both sides the evening evergreen on both sides of this so I have a piece here that's going to fit there and then I have a piece this piece is a bigger piece even though it's being covered just like that so I'm going to put those down okay there's my first background piece and then this piece goes on this side over here okay so there's our 
front. Let's do our back. And again, we're going to put a piece on this side. There goes my phone again. Every time I start to do a video, my phone goes off. And so I need a bigger piece here and a smaller piece here. So let's put those on. Okay, so we're putting that piece there and we need a piece here. Okay. And I found if you do it in this order, you don't get confused as to what goes where. Okay. That leaves us with two small pieces left. Okay. And if we look, we have a piece here that needs to go. And we have two piece, pink pieces, polished pink pieces. So let's put another polished pink piece there. Okay, now go back to your back, and if we flip it this way, I have another piece, but look, I have green and green, so now I have another green, evening evergreen one that can go there. So see how that works? Pretty nifty, huh? Then you have every other, all pink, every other, all green, every other, and we're back to the front. There you go. Okay, so to decorate, finish decorating the front, I'm going to take the flowers out of that stamp set and the leaves from that stamp set, and I have stamped them two large flowers and a small flower on the polished pink cardstock and then three small leaves and a large leaf on the soft succulent cardstock. Okay? And the and these are in a specific order just because of the way the stamps or the punch goes. And we're going to punch them out. One, two, and three. And then one, two, three and then the one large one to give us look at that three and a large one and what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to cut these in half and then cut them in half again to get a petal and then I'm going to clean up the petal too a little bit and we aren't going to need all four petals. We need three petals from... we actually need six petals total. So I have four, five, six from the big flowers. Okay, and then I need three from the little flower. And then I've got my four leaves. And what I'm going to do, whoops, that one needs to be cleaned up just a little bit. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start putting these on over my stamped image. Three. So this flower and this flower are the big ones, and then that one uses the little. And that's why I wasn't concerned that when I stamped him, he went off the page. Because we were going to cover that part up anyway. And then one, two, three. And then put the leaves on. And the final thing is we want to cover up our little our little tips of our flowers. And so you can use whatever you want for that. You can I've got one that I used I think this one I used plain rhinestones. And this one I think I'll use these enamel dots. And 
there's our card. Completed. And so I hope you enjoyed today's um, project. If you did, please hit the like button and go on over to terryscraftroom.com and uh, you can get all the information you, that you might have missed in the video and the videos over there too. Um, we'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Um.